Hey folks, today is going to add some more Farkle. We're going to add the rear uh, running slash turn onto the uh, chrome area here. Same kind of thing we did on the front fender. We're going to use a heat gun to pry the old ones off and wire them in. The other thing is I have the third and fourth brake light uh, kit from Show Chrome. Uh, the long brake light goes around the lip here. All right, and the fourth brake light goes under here. I'm not going to add that myself. I think it's a little too much, so uh, I'm going to donate that to someone. Um, but the cool thing about these, and I wish all that stuff came with it, is it comes with this really nice connector to tap right in. No uh, posi taps or splicing into wires. You just pull out the wires from the brake light area and plug this in, taps right in. So that's very cool. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap in onto the third for the brake light onto this harness. This way, when you're getting serviced, you just unplug this uh, and you don't have wires hanging on uh, here. Unlike the brake light I added up here, uh, even though it's tapped into the brake lights permanently, uh, you can remove panels for service without having to uh, mess with the wires. However, to remove this panel, when it, once that light's attached, you need some way to unplug. So I'm going to do it the easy way, tap into this, so this can be unplugged for service. Okay? So we're going to start removing panels. Now, I've already shown how to remove these panels before. By the way, the instructions for uh, that say to remove only this panel, and then use a coat hanger to pull the wires out from behind the brake light. I already know because I've been in there before. They're not long enough to pull out from there. So I'm probably going to be removing this lower uh, piece too. Additionally, we've got some holes to drill to run the uh, wires. So uh, we'll be doing that as well, and I'll be showing you as we progress. But anyway, let's get to Farkelin. Okay, folks, this side here was a pain, probably due to the exhaust, and it just cooked that glue hard as a rock. Even, pardon me, with a heat gun, and I didn't want to heat it too much because this is not metal. It's plastic that's chromed. You bubble that, you won't be a happy camper. Uh, basically, what I did was I put a paper towel on the edge and got at least a grip underneath enough to where I could work it. But I wound up, as you see, busting it, getting it off. Simply because that glue, that double side tape was hard as a rock. And as you see, I used Gooby Gun, which on the front fenders and everything worked like a champ. Even still, I can hardly get it off in places. So, uh... I'm going to go ahead and clean that up a little more, but be aware, this side was extremely difficult, again, I believe due to it getting hot from the uh, muffler. We'll see when we do the other side, but bottom line is, be careful when you're getting under here. Again, I put a paper towel along the edge, I'm trying to show you with one hand, on the edge, and then got underneath it and started working this under slowly but surely, and uh, again, I wound up destroying it, getting it off. Uh, we'll see how the other side goes, but I got a feeling it's not going to be that difficult uh, because I don't think it'll be baked on that much. Anyway, we progress. Okay, new light is on. Hole drilled, wire run through. Now we just need to uh, drill a hole down near the corner there where the instructions show, although I might do it a little differently based on uh, Steve Duke out here showed that uh, on the 2014s there's now a hole. And the hole is over here, right here, and comes up right over here, which makes a very neat little thing. And it's, it's again, it's outside this seal, which is your waterproof seal. You don't want to be inside this. So that looks like a perfect place. Anyway, we're going for it. Okay, as you can see, I've got the hole drilled right uh, uh, in the corner here. Did it from the outside in. And then another hole drilled right here. I'm sure you can see it. And then, as you can see, these harnesses are going to be hugely way too long. All right, I only need to run right up to here. So, I'm, pardon me, I'm actually going to cut mine. But if you don't want to cut yours, there's a ton of room inside here to coil up the excess wire before you bolt this on. Myself, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and cut them. Uh, I don't have a problem stripping wires and whatnot. But again, if you don't want to, coil up the excess inside this Tupperware cover that goes on the uh, lid, and you can just stuff it all in there. Anyway, 
we will continue on. Okay, folks, so now that I've hooked up the turn signal slash riding, including the front, and since I have mirror, I'm getting intermittent fast blink. And uh, let me kill it. Uh, it. What happens is when you first start, it blinks fast and kind of weird, and then it'll go into a regular blink, but I'm not going to button her up with that issue. I don't know if you can see, these are on as riding right now. So what I may do is double up the turn and riding so that these are brighter uh, in the back, full brightness, uh, rather than deal with a possible fat flash, fast blink. So let me show you. Let me turn this on. See, there's fast blink, then it slows down, then it goes fast again. It's kind of interesting. I mean, it works. And then it'll eventually slow down to a slow blink. And then it, every now and then it'll fast blink. So I'm not so sure. Now, I will say one thing. At least in the state of California, turn signals aren't supposed to be red. So I'm not sure this is cool to be a blinker anyway. So what I'm probably going to do is double up the... Let me show you here. They had me tap in uh, the blue... They had me tap in the to the brown and white and the orange with the blue and the red. I got to figure out which one's turn and which is riding, and just make this an exceptionally bright riding rather than deal with. See, it's flashing okay now, but I don't want a freaky uh, fast blink every now and then. See, now it's going to be okay. I think the flasher unit or something maybe gets a little warm and then it calms down. But if you leave it off long enough, she'll fast blink. I'll show you again. All right, here we go again. We're going to turn on a turn signal. Yep, fast blink. It'll mellow, but I'm not willing to, to deal with that. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this red one riding since turn signals I don't believe are allowed to be red except unless you're an old car or something. So, uh, as you'll see, it'll tame down here in a minute. And actually start, there it goes. Not cool. So, chances are, if I didn't have these on, it would probably be okay. But since I added those, it's putting too much of a load on the flasher unit, and the flasher unit's fast blinking. As a matter of fact, I think this regular blinking that it's doing now is faster than normal anyway. Anyway, I don't trust it. I don't want to be out riding and have a, a bunch of fast, weird blinking. So we're just going to eliminate those as blinkers and go full brightness on uh, riding. All right, so let me do that and we'll come back. Okay, and there we have it. We now have both LEDs hooked up to uh, riding. What does that mean? Now, their instructions are a little weird. They say on the left side now... For me, when I'm uh, looking at the back of the bike, this is the right side, but this is the left side for them. Anyway, they had you tap in the, uh, I believe it was red, to the brown and yellow here for the flasher light. What I did is I just doubled it up in the posi tap. So uh, I didn't even use the spade connectors. I just stuck the bundle into the slot, crimped them all together. So now blue and red are attached to orange which is full bright riding for me looks good all right so uh, uh no turn signal there and as you see now i will not have a fast flash see works perfect regular no weirdness no flash here but again red lights being flash uh, t uh turn signals not sure that's cool in the state of california anyway Bottom line is I've got nice bright riding lights now, double tapped onto the orange wire and the black wire to the black wire. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. Simply I don't want to deal with the flashing issue. All right? You may not have the flashing issue if you didn't add these. I think these are adding to the load, um, which I added a while ago. So again, that's the way I'm going. Okay, folks, so I told you what I did over here. We put the light back in. Um, now we're going to the other side to add the red uh, light, which I've already done to the cover. Need to drill the hole here. However, I'm also adding the show chrome fourth 
third and fourth brake light. Um, now, I'm, I think I'm only going to add the, uh, the third one that goes around the rim here and not the one back here. I think it might be too much. Um, and they're riding slash brake lights, so I don't, I don't want to look like a Christmas tree. Anyway, the cool thing is they it, for those, they give you this harness. There's no posi taps. You don't have to strip wires and do all kinds of stuff. It just plugs in between the light and the harness here. And... Uh, the cool part about that is adding this red uh, light on the uh, on the chrome here. I'm going to tap into this harness. This allows service. By the way, the reason they do this is if ever someone's got to take these panels off and you've got those posi tapped in, uh, they they can't take the panel and put it over in a garage like that because it's posi tapped in. Uh, this is the only these, those lights that third and fourth brake light uh, attached to the panels. And so, therefore, they do the right thing, and they give you a harness that a service person could unplug and take with the panels. Make sense? I'm going to tap into here instead of tapping into my harness with the posi taps. So, uh, if you don't decide to add this as well, then you'll be tapping in just like I did on the right side for that writing light. Uh, I'll be tapping. In, uh, you'll be tapping in here, but I'm going to go ahead and tap into these. So this will go in, and then I will explain where I tapped in. Uh, basically, it's going to be black and orange, and I'm going to put the blue and red from the show chrome side light to orange, and I'm going to put black to black, right? And then these other wires go to the LED strips. So uh, it's going to be the same thing, black to black, uh, blue and red to orange, and that will give me writing full bright on this side, just like I showed on the other side. And then uh, I'm going to do a separate video, or maybe I'll just combine it doing the other show chrome lights, okay? All right, we will continue. Okay, and there we go. Full brightness. Again, I tapped the blue and red into the orange and the black on the black using these posi taps and just tripled up the wires. And this one tripled, that one doubled. No big deal. By the way, the way I did that was I put the thin wires in the posi tap, crimped it, then there's a little locking tab. You just stick a small screwdriver under there, open it up, and then you can stick this back on the larger wire so it's at the top of the crimper, not at the base. Uh, and it works perfect. As you can see, full brightness. Lights are on. And uh, again, because of the mirror turn signals I added, it was giving me a fast blink. So I just went with full bright riding lights. Okay folks, so we used uh, the swabs, which I've already thrown away, to clean up the area. And then used the adhesion promoter tube, which what you do is you crush the dot right here. That breaks a vial inside and causes this wick to get wet. And then be careful, sw don't swipe it too much because it is kind of like a glue to some extent. Uh, anyway, I didn't go right to the edge and the reason is after test fitting and where you get to where they say wrap the uh, uh, shrink tube uh, I was out of room so don't start right at the edge test fit everything first but anyway I have pre-installed this and made sure the trunk cleared uh, as you're applying it what I suggest you do is you stick it down and start pulling the tape off so you pull the tape off a couple inches, stick it down, and then start pulling the tape off and work it. Make sure you work it down so it's at the bottom. If you get it too high, when the trunk closes, you're not going to see it very well. You want it right on the bottom of that ridge. All right. Then I did what it said. I heated this up with a lighter, made a bend, and here's the tie wrap holders. You see these don't really hold that well, so I'm going to leave a little bit of a loop up here and a loop in the middle. I've added both of these to this panel because I'm not adding the fourth uh, brake light that goes between here and the uh, bottom panel. All right, and so we've got our wires. We're gonna go ahead and hook them up and install the panel. And uh, that pretty much adds the uh, third brake light. Again, I'm not adding the fourth. Reason being is the fourth is not a brake light either. It also is a riding light, and I just didn't want to be lit up too much like a Christmas tree. So it's up to you. Um, it would be nice if that was a brake light, not just a riding light. Whereas this one's pretty cool. The trunk closes, leaves a gap. So it looks cool as a riding light and a brake light. Uh, but this one I did not add myself personally. 
All right. So if you did, then you'd do the same procedure. You would uh, clean up the gap right here, right here, and you would uh, then apply the adhesion promoter, and you'd make that bend where it tells you to right here, and then you'd have access to that harness we installed. What's interesting about this is the wires they give you for the harness, you only need three, but they give you taps for the other lights, so must be for some other accessory. Make sure you follow the instructions exactly right, what colors go to what. It works. I've tried it. All right. Anyway, so we're going to get this panel on, and then we'll come back and take a look at the final product. Hey, guys, quick tip. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Um, but uh, when you go to get at this screw, you're going to think, what the hell? How do you get at it? And this thing looks like, you know, it's hard to remove. I've seen instructions where people tell you to pull this clip off. You don't have to do that. Let me show you what you do. If you notice, there's a notch right here. You stick a jeweler's screwdriver and you just pry that clip away until it's enough and it comes right off the ball, right? So then once it's jeweler screwdriver that clip is still there same thing with your seat by the way uh, I read when I got my ultimate seat or whatever uh, it talked about pulling that whole clip off there's no reason to do that then to just stick it back on you got to extend the gas spring all right and it just pops right back on and it's secure so don't pull that clip bend the crap out of it just stick a jeweler screwdriver in there pry it enough away to release the clips it comes right off don't know if there's ever been a video explaining how to pop those off but it's not hard all right anyway covers on lights on uh, we will take a look in a minute yeah baby farkle time as you see dual bright so I've got the turn signal side and again the writing hooked up because when I had the turn signal hooked up with all the other lights I have gave me a quick flash nice and bright great riding lights you can see the backlight now all right close the trunk you can still see it from the rear all right now I'm gonna I'm not gonna hook a rope like I did to but when we hit the brake lights hopefully this will show up see they brighten of course you see my upper brake light too let's see that so Farkle done now again if I had the fourth brake light right here which looked cool and everything, but I don't know, just too much of a Christmas tree for me. <laughs> so I didn't add it, but if you had it, that would be illuminated too when the uh, key's on and be a brake light as well. All right, so there we go. Side lights, third and fourth brake light, and we're done. And uh, I'd say I'm pretty farkled out here as far as lights go. So uh, hope this was helpful. Uh, tried to explain everything I could. Enjoy.